Hi, welcome back to another Matthew Explores video. Today we are on the south coast between New Romney and Canberra Sands in the town of Lyd on the East Sussex and Kent border. So we're in Lyd to take a look at a small part of the south coast's military history. And within Lyd we're going to focus on the Lyd Ranges and One Time Barrett. So I'm no military historian, these are my views. Please feel free to put me right on things in the comments. So here we go. So the ranges and barracks within Lyd have been in use for over 150 years and are set on the shoreline across the area known as Romney Marshes. Lyd ranges are joined by other sites at Hive and Felixstowe. And prior to World War I, Lyd was already an established military town with a training camp and barracks. In 1914, with the outbreak of World War I, the camp was expanded with the addition of further garrisons being housed on site. These were housed in metal huts that were built on the site. These metal huts led to the camp being known locally as Tin Town. In 1916, the Second Royal Flying Corps Balloon School was based at Lyd, while carrying out tests on how close the balloons could get to enemy fire when carrying out observation duties. And two years later, in 1918, the 21st Cyclist Battalion was located at the camp. As well as the ranges, a replica village for urban warfare training is sited at the camp, and soldiers who were posted to Northern Ireland during the Troubles were trained there along with in more recent times military personnel being sent to Afghanistan carried out some training at Lyd. There's also a, a narrow gauge railway located on the site and it's used primarily for targets but it is occasionally used for troop transport across the camp. The ranges extend approximately three miles out to sea and the local harbour masters and coast guard are made aware of when live ammunition testing and training is taking place. Training at the camp takes place approximately 300 days a year and the exclusion zones are marked by flags and in poor visibility are marked by red lights. The land that the barracks and ranges sit on is classed as a site of special interest and also a protected wetlands. And at times of high use, for instance World War I, the camp was home to the Canadian riflemen and also Australian forces before they were sent out to theatres of war across Europe. The site was also a proving ground for early high explosives and the explosive substance Lydite takes its name from the town of Lyd as this was the first place it was tested and it went on to be used widely within the Boer War and World War I. Sadly, in recent years, in 2006 and 2011, the ranges have been a location of tragedy when young servicemen lost their life in accidents related to training exercises. So that's all for me today from Matthew Explores. Hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, please like and subscribe. I will see you soon. Bye for now.